Hello YouTube and welcome to tutorial number 23 in the PHP programming tutorial series and in this video we're going to look at how we will integrate HTML and PHP in a page. So what we're going to do is create a simple HTML document or the HTML and body tag and then we'll just end it down here and then we can save this we're going to save this as HTML.php okay and the first thing we're going to look at is simply using HTML with single quotes. Now we've covered this so we're not really learning anything new by this but what we can easily do, you know, we can start our PHP tag end it and we can echo out HTML enclosed inside of these single quotes so we can just say have a bold tag an underline tag and say this is a test and the underline and the bold and as, as all the browser will see here is this because the browser won't see this PHP and this echo because all of this code is executed on the server and not on the browser so all the browser will see is this code right here the, and it'll just say okay we've got bold underline this is a test and then stop the underline stop the bold because this echo function is just outputting this to the browser so if we save this go to html.php messed up a bit there and okay you'll see that we have this is a test in bold and underlined and that's because all we're doing there is using single quotes now this is fine and good we can just do this as an easy method to display HTML so we can just echo a break and we can just echo maybe a hyperlink chef equals google.com and then save and reload and we've got a link you know we can pretty much do everything with HTML just by um, using the echo and then echoing it out like this but there is an alternative and I'll show you that right now so what we're going to do is create an array and this array is going to be called names I'm going to create a new array called names you should know how to do this if you've watched the previous tutorials so we're going to have the first value is Tom second is Bob and third is Jim okay and we'll just end that and now we're going to use a for each loop to loop through the array so we're going to say for each for each um, names as person and that's just saying for each value inside names and we're going to use the variable person to represent each one and we'll have our open curly bracket and our close curly bracket we're just going to echo out um, person and then we'll concatenate a break onto that as well so we're using the break tag so you're using this single quotes to echo out the HTML here. If we save this, reload it, we've got an array looped out. But what if you wanted to, you know, have fancy colours, have a big sentence? It would take, you know, a lot of time to concatenate everything and it'll look quite messy. But there is an alternative. So if we delete this line right here, the echo person, what we can do here is we can end the PHP script. Now, what PHP will do is PHP will not stop the for each loop because we've ended the script it will actually carry it on because down here we have the other um, curly bracket so we can write whatever we want inside here in HTML and this will be executed every time we run this for each loop so for each name names as person it's gonna do it three times so what we can do we can use P HTML so we can have a bold tag font color equals red or something I don't know and then we can just say um, the name of the person is and what we can do here is we can actually use PHP on one line inside HTML because PHP is led on line on sorry on statement by statement not line by line so lines don't really matter so you know we can actually just delete these lines here and have this and have it all in one line and it will do the same thing well that would not be very appropriate because we won't be able to read it properly but moving on, we can just say the name the person is, open a PHP tag, echo out person, semicolon there, and then end the tag. And it'll just say the name of the person is Tom, Bob, and Jim. And then we can, we will end the font, end the bold, and then just have a break. Okay, so let's look over this again. We've just declared a simple array here as names, and it's contains the following values and what this for each loop is, will do is it will loop through this array and for each um, for each value in this array it's going to do this now you might think because we stop 
the PHP script here, it will actually cause an error or just not do that. But because we've started it up again, it will actually echo out this each time. So let's save this. And you can see the name of the person is Tom, Bob, and Jim. So it has actually worked. So that's just a way we can do it. We can just stop the tag and start it up again. But what we're going to look at now is using PHP inside HTML and not the other way around. So if we delete this, and what we're going to do is just create a simple PHP script here. We're going to get the the value of color, and I'm going to spell this the American way to avoid any confusion. And the value of color is going to be get color from the URL. So if you watched a get variable tutorial, you know what this means. And then we're just going to echo out. Um, I have B and then font color equals and inside of here we're going to put our PHP script but we'll leave that blank for now and we're going to put font color and then we're going to just say welcome to the website and this is just something that will allow the user to select the color they want the font to be in it's not very really useful um, but it will just display how we can use PHP inside HTML so inside of these two tags here we can just say PHP open a tag and close the tag and on one line we can say echo out color and what this will do is just echo out the variable color which we're getting from the browser up here and it's gonna just echo out inside of these two tags so it will be read as normal so if we go html to php and we do question mark color equals blue and we can see it's in blue we say color equals yellow and it's in yellow and if we view the source code of this you'll see that all it's, it's seeing right here inside these two question marks, sorry, inside these two quotations is yellow, the color that we specified and that's because it doesn't read these PHP tags. Okay, so that's just how to embed HTML and PHP and vice versa. So I, want, I wanted to get through this pretty quickly because, you know, there's millions of examples I could put across but it would just all get kind of boring so I hope that you've have a better understanding of how to embed PHP and HTML from this video. So thanks for watching, please like the video, leave a comment if you have a question and also subscribe to the channel for real-time updates, real-time new videos.